Hello guys, in this lecture I would like to share with you my experiences of how to solve a GitHub error which is you know failed to push some refs to my GitHub repository say test.git on GitHub. Okay, so the scenario was I was trying to um, push my local repository on a .NET 8 upgrade for a MongoDB CRUD application. Now, let me share that application with you. So, this is the MongoDB repository which I had created manually by logging into my uh, account profile on GitHub. And uh, this is mongodb.asp.net CRUD upgrade. Okay, so this was previously in ASP.NET Code 3.0 version and it is being used for my uh, Udemy course on the mm -hmm. subject. All right, so I have done the upgrade. So my context is not to show you and explain the MongoDB, but how I successfully been able to push my latest code and the upgraded code into a new repository branch. So what I did is, you know, after creating this uh, repository, I just followed the, you know, GitHub commands that, you know, come up with like these. So this is my uh, Windows PowerShell. So what I did was I first tried with a few of the uh, commands like git init. So it initialized and then git add readme.md and then git commit with the message first commit on branch. So it says that, you know, on branch master. But still what I did was, you know, um, I actually git branch m main, which was not there. That is what I found. And then I remote, I issued this command git remote at origin. This was my uh, GitHub repository, which I just showed to you. And then I issued, so uh, git push you origin main. And it come up, came up with this uh, error, failed to push some refs to https github.com slash um, slash this git bra. So what I did was, now I followed this, these few steps. First of all, I have to check that, you know, the current branch. So I ran this command git branch. So I found that, you know, nothing comes up. Okay. So when I issued this command git branch, so it didn't show me anything. Then what I did was I issued this command git checkout b main. Now this time it created a branch, new branch main and switched on to that branch. Okay. Then let's see what is there in the um, what document that I followed. So I followed this. Uh, I created the main branch and checked out on the main branch. And then because it was not committed on the main branch, so I added this command git add dot with this message. And then I tried to push the code again with git push to origin main. So let's switch over to here. Um, now, as I just, so git checkout branch main, switch on to new branch and then git add it, add it the untracked file and then git commit. So, so many, this commit actually passed with 99 files changed and then finally git push to origin main. Now, the remote origin was already created. If you see, up. So remote origin was already added successfully in my first lot of command. Okay, so uh, here git remote at origin. So this was done. Then finally, I was able to successfully push to the remote origin and everything fell fine. And this remote repository was created, which I just showed you. Again, um, this the repository is here so you can see it has finally come up with all the code in two folders so this is the main project folder and this is the 
This is the main project folder and the earlier one that I just showed you was the data access folder. Okay. So that's it.